Hey, thanks for turning this video on. My name is Derek Lipsky, and this is called What is a Buyer's Market and Should I Sell? Right? So I had a buyer, um, I had a, a customer or a, um, a YouTube subscriber uh, ask me about this, and he asked me in two, two ways, which I just made the other video for, which is not, the first way was, what is a sales market and should I buy? That's another video you can watch. And now this is the exact opposite. What is a buyer's market and should I sell? So how, when does a buyer's market exist? Well, if supply is greater than demand, that generally tends to leave you to a buyer's market. But how much supply and how much demand is it? Well, generally, if it's, a, if it's more than a six-month supply of homes out there, the shift is towards a, towards a buyer market per realtor, uh, realtor and NAR, National Association of Realtors. If you have 12 homes that sell a month and inventory has 100 homes on it, well, we're past a six-month supply because six times 12 is 72 and you have 100. So we're definitely into the buyer's market at that point. In controversy, the sales market is under three uh, months of inventory. So if you have 12 homes and there's only 20 homes on the market, or 12 homes selling a month, there's only 20 homes on the market total, well, now you're in the sales market. But so, back to the question here is, what is a buyer's market and should I buy? I'm sure, should I sell? Well, you never lose when you buy and sell at market value, because if you buy high, you're gonna sell high. And if you buy low, you're gonna sell low. So you never really lose if you do the same thing in the same market. Um, but you know, uh, as, as far as selling in, in a uh, in a buyer's market, yeah, you know, if, if if it's a buyer's market and there's a drive of people out there, you should absolutely do that. I mean, um, can you find a deal? Is there some kind of a meeting ground where you can uh, sell high and wait the market out and then buy low later? Yeah, there, there definitely is. And when would that happen? What would that time frame look like? Well, we're gonna do another video about that, but just to give you an idea. Ideally, if we knew this market was going to crash in a year from now, you'd want to sell probably in the next three or four months, right? And get a, the top dollar you could while the demand was high, then rent for a year, and after the market crashes, go in and buy something up that you get at a discount. Now, the only caveat to that would be is probably when you buy, if the market crashes, rates are going to spike up. So when rates go up, the payment's going to be different than what it would be now at 2%, you know, 600000 a home at 2%, and a 600000 a home, or even a 500000 a home at 5%, the payment's still going to be higher at the 5% interest rate. So you wanna make sure that if you buy, uh, you, know, the, the, you get the best interest rate you can, but if you can wait the market out a while, if you don't mind renting for, uh, for a few years or live with family for a few years, because the market when it drops, it doesn't just slam down. It goes two to five to 7% a year and comes down as it goes up, maybe even up to 10%, but you won't even see a big slash in half and 50% off and it doesn't do that. Um, so again, if you uh, getting back to the point, if you buy and sell in the same market, you never really lose. I hope you guys like this video, give you some insight. I give tips and tactics to people across the nation on how to get their home sold and when to buy, what the right, right time is. Hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to leave a comment uh, about this video, I'll try to answer everything I can. Uh, and if you think you have a question that's worth the video, let me know. I'll try to make one for you. Uh, and again, my name is Derek Lipsky. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you at the next one.